Got another project today. We've got a Max Air exhaust fan that I'm gonna be installing in place of our current exhaust fan. Uh, that thing is no good. It's basically just a computer fan, essentially. It doesn't really move any air or do really anything. I think it's just there kind of for looks or to make you think that it's moving some air when it's actually not. So I'm gonna be installing this thing and hopefully it's everything I've read and heard about where it actually draws air in through the windows really strongly uh, to get a good breeze going through here. Yesterday was the hottest day that we've had in the RV so far. It was 80 degrees, I think, and, there, and it was full sun. It got pretty hot in here, especially at night when we were going to bed, it was still over 80 degrees in the RV and it was 60 some odd degrees outside. So we would have loved to have this thing installed so we could have fired it up and really drawn air in through the windows. So I'm gonna get this thing installed and hopefully it is what, you know, it's everything that's cracked up to be. Let's go ahead and see what's in this box. We've got some basic instructions, uh, various hardware, and wiring adapters, or wiring connectors, I should say. Let's see. All right. And in here we've got our basically the whole assembly right here. So I'm hoping that it's pretty plug and play. Um, we've got, you know, the existing opening is the same size that uh, is needed for this Max Air fan, so I don't need to cut any opening. It's a 14 by 14 square opening into our bathroom. Um, so I should be able to just remove my current fan and opening and then drop this assembly in through the top. This is the whole fan assembly. Drop it in through the top and then come back in from the outs or come back in on the inside and place this um, kind of finished molding up through the top. I will have to cut this um, to you know make it the desired thickness that I need for our roof but uh, yeah that's really the only cutting I'll have to do is to this molding um, you know right here all the way around so it should be a pretty pretty straightforward install. Um, I will have to do a little bit of wiring. I need to check the gauge of wiring that's being run to my current exhaust fan in there to see if it is a thick enough wire to handle the amperage that the max fan's gonna draw. Hopefully it is so that I don't have to run any new wire and I can use that existing wire. That would be awesome. We went with the most basic Max fan. It was about $145. I'll drop a link into the, in the description to what we got. Uh, it's the manual open, in, open type. It doesn't have a uh, remote and you cannot run this one while it's raining. We just elected to go with this one um, just for you know, uh, cost savings basically. We decided we didn't really need the frills of the you know really expensive option, which I think is over $200. So, um, yeah, we just went with the $140 option, and we think it's going to work for us. All right, enough talk. Let's get to work. First thing I'm going to do before I get too far into this install is check to make sure that the opening for my roof vent is 14 inches by 14 inches. They say that's the standard RV opening, and that's what the Max Air Fan requires. But I figure I'm gonna, you know, check that before I get too far in the install and realize I just wasted a whole bunch of time because my opening isn't even the right size. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my existing uh, receiving flange on my vent and uh, make sure that my opening is 14 by 14. All right, I just checked and my roof vent is 14 by 14, so we're good to go. 
All right, so I'm up on the roof now. I went ahead and um, completely disconnected power from my 12 volt battery, and I also unplugged my um, 120 volt shore power source so that uh, all electricity was cut to the RV. Uh, I went ahead and also cut the wires, the power and ground wires leading to my old ex exhaust fan because I'm gonna need to pull it up here. So um, to do that, I need to you know, peel away all the existing sealant all around the, uh, you know, that's holding the current exhaust fan down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Alright, so I got the existing fan out now. Um, now I need to clear off a two inch wide um, area for the flange of the max fan to sit down on. So there's all this existing sealant that I need to scrape off. So I've got a uh, putty knife and I've got a um, razor blade that I'm gonna do that with. So I gotta get that cleaned off and then I can drop the max fan in. All right, after th three hours, maybe even longer, I finally have all of the old sealant off. And I think it looks decent, it could be better, but it's been a long time, my fingers are killing me. So this is gonna have to do. So I'm going to apply this butyl tape to the underside of the flange for the Max Fan, and that's gonna help seal it in. And I'm gonna cover up all the screw holes on that flange and that's what'll basically seal it to the roof of the vehicle, or the RV. I marked an outline of the flange with a pencil just so once I put that butyl caulk on the underside of that flange, you only get one shot. You know, once it's on, you know, you don't want to be picking it back up and setting it back down. So I'm going to set it straight down on that outline. So the instructions tell me to come back in here and wire this up first before you know you like make it permanent uh, before you screw it into the ceiling just to make sure everything operates as it's supposed to. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this thing up and then reconnect my 12 volt battery and see if everything works like it should.
All right, awesome, it works. So back on the roof, screwing it down. So now that's screwed down, I just have to scrape off the excess butyl caulk that, you know, squirted out of the flange. <sighs> okay, finally. The last thing to do here up on the roof is to um, put die core sealant over all of the um, hardware so all the screw heads are nice and sealed off and then Provide or you know lay a nice healthy bead of decor all around the edge of the flange, and I'm finally done up here. <laughs> all right, last two steps are for me to clean up the electrical wiring and to install the interior flange, and then I'm all done. Now with that done, the final step is to put this uh, garnish ring, the instruction manual calls it, up in there. But first I have to measure um, the height, or the distance from my max fan, faceplate to the um, roof opening and then add a half inch to a quarter inch to that and then that make that measurement on my garnish ring and then cut there. My RV roof is heavily sloped right here so I have to measure all four corners and then because um, they'll all be different and then make those markings on my garnish plate and then cut it to that size and then stick it up there and screw it in. So I measured one and three quarter inches on the two sides of the max fan and it measured two and three quarter inches on the other side. So I'm gonna add a half inch to both those measurements so I'm going to make a uh, mark at um, two and a quarter inches on this, these two sides and um, uh, three and one quarter inches on this side. Now time to cut this thing. Finally done. All that's left to do now is turn her on and enjoy the breeze. So that installation is completely done. It was really straightforward. The biggest problem was getting that old sealant off of the roof. That took forever. That took nearly three hours to do. <laughs> My hands are just throbbing. From using that razor blade to get that sealant off, my thumbs hurt so bad from pushing it, but 
I'm glad it's done. The Max fan is working great. I did think it would spin faster than it does, um, so I'm a little disappointed. I thought it would spin faster and draw in more air than it than it does, but I've got it on max speed, drawing air up through the fan. So I'm getting a pretty decent breeze coming in through this window behind me. I've got this window and two other windows open, so I've got a pretty decent breeze coming in. But you know, I I thought it would be, I thought it would spin faster and I thought it would bring more in, but. Uh, in it whatever it's definitely better than that junk exhaust fan that originally came in this thing I that thing did nothing honestly it did absolutely nothing I, I, know, I know that fans not made to draw air in through windows but I don't even think it really did its job as just a regular exhaust fan to bring moisture out during a shower but whatever it's fine uh, the max fans in I'm happy and it's going to be great now on hot days when we're getting ready to go to bed to f fire up that max fan and let it draw nice cool air in to cool this thing down right before bed so we're not sweating in bed all night. So I'm happy with it, I'm glad it's done, and I'm glad it essentially went off without a hitch. Well it's dinner time now so I'm going to go stuff my face and enjoy a well deserved drink. And then after that I'm going to take a page out of the cat's playbook and do some of this.